What's going on guys, Tim Watts here, back with another video. In this video, I am actually going to be showing you guys how you can make your own epic layer style in just a few easy simple steps. Now, as you can see if I do go on my layer styles um, here, so as you can see I've got like red, um, like some greys, purples and all that. So all I'm going to be showing you guys today is just how to make this uh, nice red uh, effect here. So if you do want some more tutorials, make sure you leave some suggestions down below. I'll definitely read the comments and I'll definitely put it into a video and then shout you out. And leave your channel in the description, so make sure you comment down below. And below and uh, yeah, I'll just put you on the video. So yeah, let's basically get straight into the tutorial. So now, the first thing, so now the first thing you want to do is press T on your keyboard, so it's sexy, you can press T on your keyboard. Or you can just click that uh, T horizontal type T. Make sure it's horizontal or you just go down and up. Uh, so yeah, you can click anywhere and then type in your name, so your tempo. So if it's low quality, um, the Photoshop's going to mess up the name. I'll definitely fix that soon. So yeah, um, after you've written your name, you're just going to, um, like where my mouse is right now, double click in that space. And then what you want to do here is um, the drop shadow. I know you can't see it because it's a black background. But when you do use a farmer design, I'm sure you won't have a black background. So you'll be able to see it then, so this is what I'm showing you this. So just pause the video, copy the screen, you know, as you would, uh, 20, 27 spread, uh, 51 size, 100 opacity, blend mode normal. Then we head over to gradient, and this is probably the most important thing here. I know you can't really see it that well because like the quality is messed up. But yeah, what you're going to do here is put it on reverse. And then you're going to type in 90 degrees. Uh, then you're going to put the scale to 130, and that will just make a nice like, little line effect. Um, so you can put on differ, I don't think it actually does a difference. So yeah, as I said, it was low quality, so it wouldn't look as good as if it was, um, as if it was a, a high quality uh, text. So yeah, the next thing you're going to do is go into colour overlay, and you're going to put uh, this to Q, that's from here, and then you're going to put that to white. All the way over to white. Yeah, you can turn your passive bar 10. Uh, and then that can look like you're writing it up. And then the next thing we're going to do is satin. Now I'm going to put this opacity 10%. It's all default settings. I think that if it is, uh, distance is 50, size is 80, anti analyze down. Invert is checked. Make sure it's a straight line here. And yeah, inner glow is like the thing. Like one of the most important things besides gradient overlay, yeah, you're going to put the blend mode to uh, vivid light and the uh, opacity to around 70%. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's coming along good already. Uh, put the choke to uh, 3 and we'll put the size to whatever you like, to how big the text is. I'm doing 8 in the moment, that's pretty good for my text. I'm going to put the range to 70. Tick anti analyzed and make sure this is white, uh, fully white. It doesn't really matter if you do this gradient over here, it's still white as it doesn't have a, an extra fill over here. So it doesn't really matter what one you pick, like any of them, this doesn't really make a difference. So yeah guys, this is how to make a layer style. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will have my Photoshop fixed after this video. So yeah, leave some comments down below as I said at the start of the video. And yeah, basically guys, um, peace.